Hey, Steve, I got something that I need to talk to you about. <clears throat> so there's this bird that has your signature stamp of approval. Oh, that's an emu. I put it in Australia. Yes, I know. My question is, why is it so skilled at warfare? Oh, you mean why is it so adept at avoiding mass extinction when the human population used military tactics against it? Oh, so you heard about the Great Emu War then. The emus won! How could I not know? Yes, but how did they win? The odds were definitely not in their favor. They scatter into small, quickly moving groups which make them harder targets to hit, and their bodies are incredibly durable so they can withstand lots of trauma. You've really thought through their design. Mm -hmm. And I've improved it! What more could you add to this living tank? I call it the cassowary. My eternal life just flashed before my eyes. It's the world's most dangerous bird. It looks mean. And unlike most of my other animal designs, this one is very skittish around humans and will attack if provoked. Is this because I took your dinosaurs away? I'll always have my dinosaurs. Oh my me. You modified the dinosaur design. I can't approve this. What do you mean? You already did. Stacy? Yes. Make sure that I don't play any more drinking games with Lucifer. And then when I remind you, all you're gonna do is say, Stop nagging me, Stacy. I approved a murder chicken. Don't do it, David. Don't. She's taken. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Hey, God? Yeah, Steve. So, I heard you talking to Angelica about how much you liked her dog design. Oh, no. So I figured I'd design a couple, too. Oh, I'm getting nervous. See? That's a mop. It's a Commodore Hungarian sheepdog. You gave it dreadlocks. I did. Can it even see? Oh, I made this one too. That one's naked. It's the Sholo dog. Look at how cute and wrinkly it is. It's like you used all the hair on one and didn't have enough for the other. That's what happened, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like him? Good job, Steve. Yay. Let me show you what I did to the cats. <sighs> Hey, Stacy, what's the update on the human situation? You're not gonna like it. Can't be that bad. I'm reasonable. Well, the humans aren't listening to you again. Flood the place. Seriously? What? How else am I gonna start over? I'm taking that job in hell. It's a perfectly reasonable and logical response! Hey, God? Oh, Steve! Good. I want your thoughts on something. What would you think if I just flooded the entire Earth? As long as you save the animals, I think it's a great idea. Thank you! Yeah, it means more room for this fish I made! You love it. It's missing half its head. Oh no, it's there, it's just see-through. Why? Well, you see those green things? Those are its eyes, and it sees through its head to look at everything. Isn't that cool? I call it the barrel eye fish. Why not just put its eyes on top of its head? <laughs> That's so boring. I thought this looked way cooler. It looks like two aliens driving a fish machine. Oh, it kinda does, doesn't it? Cool. You're putting this in the deep ocean, right? Yeah, that was the plan. Good. God loves my designs. Hey Stacy, what's on my schedule for today? Let's see, your next appointment is brunch with the horsemen. You absolutely can't miss it this time. Ugh, why not? Well, they've unionized and are wanting better working conditions. Oh, we went over this. If you want the apocalypse to run smoothly, you won't miss okay, it. fine. What else? Let's see, you're playing golf with Satan at the fifth circle. <laughs> He's so bitter that I beat him the last 4,567 times. But hey God. Coming. Thank you, Stacy. Yeah, what's up, Steve? I had a bunch of leftover parts from my past animal designs, so I thought that I'd make something new. What is that? A duck beaver otter! Yeah, that's a mouthful. Just call it platypus because it has flat feet. Oh yeah, good idea. So is it a mammal? Bird? Kind of both? How so? Well, it's a mammal, but it lays eggs. Wild. I also put a venomous spur on the back foot ankles of the males. Of course you did. And it glows under ultraviolet light. Sheesh, you put everything but the kitchen sink into this thing. Why would I put a sink in it? It's an expression. Oh. But it doesn't have everything. It doesn't fly, or spin webs, or oh echolocate, or have scales. Oh, but they make excellent secret agents. You put his weakness in his hair. Hey, God. Never seemed to cross your mind that maybe Samson wanted to be a barber? Yes, Steve. What you got? I made a worm. Ew. Well, you said that you needed something in the ocean that would help keep it clean. Yeah, a detritivore. And this worm does just that. It burrows in the sand, filters stuff out. Yeah. I'm just having trouble figuring out a name for it. All right, can I see it? Wow! <laughs> Steve, what inspired this design? It just came to me. That's what she said. <laughs> you should call it a penis fish. <gasps> Almighty! All right, all right. You can call it a fat innkeeper worm or whatever since it 
Burroughs? Oh man, I could come up with so many names. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was definitely inspired by an appendage. Don't look at me like that. It was just a few plagues and a little mouse murder. They weren't listening to me. All I'm going to say to that is, who's the deity? I am. You think maybe we can handle things with a little more maturity? Hey, God? Oh, thank me. Steve, your timing is impeccable. So you remember how I had my birthday recently? Yeah, hard to forget. Instead of confetti, you released a swarm of wasps. Well, I had a bunch of leftover balloons, and so I figured I'd add them to my animal designs. Oh no. Like this! They do not look happy to exist. It's a black rain frog! They puff themselves up in self-defense to make themselves appear bigger. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, you don't want to know what I'm thinking right now. I also added a balloon to this seal! That is an interesting mode of self-defense. Oh, that's not for self-defense. It's for mating. So what now? Everyone likes balloons. Steve? Uh-huh. You need to get out more. Okay.